Since its inception in 2018, there have been many unforgettable moments in the Overwatch League, but there are some plays that truly stand out from others. Today, we look at the top 10 200 IQ plays in OWL history. My name is, and I cannot stress this enough, not Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guides. Starting things off at number 10, we have the world's most famous Zenyatta player, Jay Jonak, making a big brain play to save his teammate's life and effectively shutting down any potential follow-up on Jester's flank shatter. You can kind of stagger those ultimates. I wonder where this nano boost is going to go for New York. Oh! No way! Unbelievable! He gets knocked out of the path! Jester definitely thought he was going to have the charge there and the pin, but it wasn't meant to be. Moving on to number 9, Kevstar uses May's Ice Wall to boost up Cloudy's Reinhardt to set up an insane surprise flank Earth Shatter on the third point of King's Row. Confused. Fight! Is cards. this going to be a flank in Shatter? They used the cart, they have no idea. They used the cart to get all the way around them with the Ice Wall! Oh, the Earth Shatter! Cloudy! The creativity! The big brain plays! I don't know if it's David Pay or I don't know if it's the Gladiators, but they are making it work! Another fight shut down before it even began. Wow! At number 8, we have the Shanghai Dragons with the perfect Sim TP strat speedrun versus Soul Dynasty on Hanamura. I remember everyone thinking this would be a close matchup, but the Dragons just ended up dominating the entire series, winning 3 to 0. Uh, I don't know. I think this might be a Sim strat. I okay, think that they're just going for the straight to point kind of Sim strat because the, the Izayaki Batiste gives it away. You definitely want to be running the Batiste if you're going for a Sim strat. Yeah. They're just trying to take positioning and they TP on. So they can be using the ice Huge flash the TP. But Fitz nice flash bang. Fitz, Fitz does go down in the end here. Gesture trying to get an angle now, just swing off in the, the side. Goes for the charge, but mistimes it. Ends up just charging straight into the wall now. Shanghai Dragons seem to be just in control of the point. They're putting in so much work, so much damage. And gesture falls. Only a couple of players left, and they've almost got this point already. Shanghai Dragons are just rolling it forward. They have come prepared, they've done their homework, they've drank their milk, Josh. And they're coming for that second checkpoint. Uh, uh, that's a horrible mistake from Fitz and the rest of the Soul Dynasty. Fitz goes for a flashbang as soon as they get out of the teleporter, which the rest of Souls should have followed up on uh, if it was communicated effectively, and they weren't there. So Fitz just dies immediately. He trades his life for a small stun. That's not worth it at all. And Soul immediately falls straight after that. All of these ults now available. Nice TP to take the high ground. And Shanghai are already on the point. They pulled them apart. They pulled them to pieces like a pulled pork sandwich, Josh. I don't know what I'm witnessing right now. Soul Dynasty are crumbling before our very eyes. It's just absolutely absurd. They've taken the point by storm. And that's it. That's the map. I mean, wh what have we just witnessed? Coming in at number 7 is Stryker from the San Francisco Shock getting boosted up above the doorway by a May wall allowing him to get an easy flash to stun Reinhardt and setting up Super for a huge shatter. Uh, happy with a dead eye coming what in. Is, what, what is this? What in the world is this? This is some tech man. This is um, They got the I'm May a wall here and boosted him up onto the doorway. Okay. No one expects What is the plan here? Is it, it's going to be a flash. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, oh. Strike is cheeky. God, his spidey senses were tingling. He just drops down and apprehends these now do wells. Next up at number six, Moth and Smurf use the power of friendship to execute a crazy three man boop on King's Row versus the Toronto Defiant. Pilot it down. Logic's fine to kill. After the shock, surely you just try and get out, right? Will they be allowed to? No! Architect gets caught. That's big. I mean, now you start to build up some more. <gasps> what? what in what the world? Oh, is no! Moth finds three and he's far from done! Oh, and anyone oh, can be the my. architect of such destruction. It's gonna be this man. <laughs> oh, no. What a force You can't nature. lose like this, Toronto. Oh, come on! Oh, Making our way to number 5, we have Fury with one of the craziest D.Va plays ever. Not only does he perfectly bait out the Zarya Grav, he then hits the nastiest flick to eat it too. I mean, just look at this. There it is, Propaganda now can commit with a Graviton Surge and force the sound barrier. No! Oh, what? 
Oh, this is absurd. Baby Bay, unbind Q. You're not going to get to use it anyway. Fury just eats it yet another Graviton Surge. Uh, cannot get a break. <laughs> We're going to get to the bit, the, this one here. Look at this in slow motion. This is this is slowed down. I want you to pay attention again. Look at this flick, the 180. The most impressive aspect. Wow. Pay attention to his defense matrix charge. It's not there. What? It's in the last moment, and it's instant. Full speed again. Look at this. What? Flick. Do you know what? I went back Unreal, over. Unreal, I went back over the replay. At number four, we have Nico from the Paris Eternal with some quick thinking. Even with Maywall on cooldown, he was able to not only save himself, but his tank as well by using his ice block right on top of Reinhardt. Those pillars going down pretty quickly. That was a cheeky flame strike. Didn't end up quite landing. That Nano doing a almost nothing. And now the attack coming through from Paris Eternal. The re-engage, self-destruct on top as well. They're slept. No, wait, what? No way, I thought that was easily a couple of kills. Apparently not. I think that was a uh, ice block potentially blocking the sight line of the Rhine. Now, before we get into the top three, let's take a quick look at some honorable mentions. Parrish tricked the Atlanta Rain into thinking they all use TP, leading to a massive flank shatter from Dawn. Anytime you can get Khan up on a high ground with an Amp Matrix, that seems like it's a one fight for the Paris Eternal. They've got Khan up again, <laughs> and there comes Dawn around the side. They thought what? he'd gone through the teleporter, and instead he lays down the hammer. God, this is some EU double Gloucester cheese. I've never seen anything like it. They baited him. They thought that Dan was playing with the rest of the team when he was going for the wraparound flanking her shatter. Bird Ring catches the enemy off guard by taking the Junkrat tire through Symmetra's teleporter. Whoa, that was a very far back tire for Bird Ring. Oh, you see the TP? Oh, it gets four! Bird Ring gets four kills with the tire, and the Toronto Defiant have no idea what just happened. Muma with a perfect Reinhardt pin onto Jay Jonak to deny any healing from Zenyatta's transcendence. He was the only one in it. Janus comes in the background, but there's Muma dropping that Earth Shatter. There's a charge onto the transcendence. Oh, and he's gonna knock him off! What an angle from Muma just dropping Jonak. He's like, go home, man. That's where all the Omnics live here. Lip decided he had enough with the Far Mercy, so he took matters into his own hands. Potentially. And Lip is eyeing up this fire mercy uh -oh. combo. If they're above they the edge, drop like rocks. He's going for it. He's going for the EMP. They're going to be dropping right off the edge of the map. He's going for <laughs> his own life. But the Evertool's gone. But Jimbo almost surviving. Fletter. He will, oh my goodness. The post bomb brought him to the ground. And the post bomb <laughs> takes him back to the respawn queue. All right, let's move on to number three, where Architect uses Bastion's ultimate to boost himself onto the chandelier on the third point of Eichenwald, giving him the ultimate high ground. So Minsu will wait in the wings here. He needs to make a huge play right now. He needs to break the deal up. Architect is a trapeze artist, and he's ready for So Minsu. What a rocket. And now he sits up here. Who's going to stop Architect now, Matt? Nobody. Spoiler alert, as he is up on the high ground, that'll be Twilight who lands a sleep dart, but Mitch, they just have to trickle out of the spawn, try and prevent the inevitable here. Slime hanging on for dear life, and I mean that literally in this case, Dizzy trying to get away with the wrecking ball's not durable enough for an architect, happy as Larry on the high ground, gets boosted up into the room briefly by a wall. Coming in at number two is former McDonald's employee DeFran with his unforgettable Zarya play on Hollywood. With help from Lucio's speed boost, DeFran surfs the roofs and lands a huge Graviton Surge. What is this? What are they doing right now? Oh, that is interesting. That is a really- Can you get over the roof there? Oh my. Oh, oh my! Man! What a play! What a grab! Tosses in the ground. They're gonna make it work. And Cruz taken out by the ensuing self-destruct. Oh, 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 oh. Atlanta Rain breaking through that in the most stylish way I've ever seen. Ben Best in a, quite a bit of trouble. We must flee. Die in the point. That's how it works. And well, I learned something new there, Monte Cristo. That was incredible. Whoa. So, what a play from the Atlanta Rain. Death from above with the Graviton Surge. And finally, at number one, I think there's no surprises here, we have the LA Gladiators' great debate of King's Row. As his team wraps around the whole first point, Sure 4 patiently waits in spawn, and when everyone is in position, he switches to Widowmaker and lands two snipes on the enemy Widow and Mercy, pulling off potentially the smartest play in Overwatch League history. Especially if they go towards the point, you're gonna be able to keep everybody up as well. Oh look, Silk Thread on this eye here, I feel like more recently, we're not asking what Silk Thread can do anymore, or kind of asking what he can't. 
so many different heroes that he can sort of bring out. His puzzle was very effective. Okay, I like this for the Gladiators. This is this is cute. They're gonna try and circle around. The Spitfire, wanna interrupt this a little bit here? Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, the, high, the ground. high ground. Yeah. Oh, this is so nasty. Shield Force chilling in spawn. So he's waiting here. We can sort of walk out. What is he trying to do? Uh, I think he's going to either he's going to either switch to Widowmaker. Uh oh, yep. <laughs> he's going to be the play. He's going to switch to Widow. I'm gonna call this the merry-go-round because it makes me laugh, makes me happy, and Shawn Force switches to the Widowmaker at just the right time. Closer drops down, and it's a day in the shooting range for Lane Roberts, the Canadian superstar. Unloads on the Spitfire, and they get completely smashed. Sometimes, Matt, the best laid plans fail. But not this one. Big flank from the Gladiators and they let loose the Widow at just the right time. That about does it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite play was and would you like to see us do more top 10s like this in the future? Check out our merch store at blizzardguides.shop and check out our Twitter, Discord, and Instagram with the links in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. My name is Not Nate and this was Blizzard Guides.